Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to replace the thermal paste on a 2012, 13, 14, or 15 MacBook Pro Retina 15 inch. We'll be using the iFixit toolkit to complete today's repair. Inside, you'll find all of the bits we need to ensure this repair is completed successfully. We'll start by grabbing our P5 or Pentalobe 5 bit and undoing all of the Pentalobe 5 screws on our bottom cover. After that, we will remove the bottom cover and set it aside. Next, we are going to disconnect our battery. I'm then going to hold the power button for 10 seconds to ensure that I drain all system capacitors. Okay, next we are going to disconnect our Wi-Fi card by removing the three antennas and sliding this other connector out of its socket. Next, we're going to remove this little rubber cap for this T5 screw on the right side of the heatsink and remove it. Next, we are going to remove the other T5 screw on the left side of the heatsink. Then we'll remove all four screws covering the CPU, starting with the upper left and undoing it just a bit then going to the bottom right and undoing it just a bit, then the upper right, undoing it just a bit, then undoing the bottom left one just a little bit. Then we'll complete the one on the upper left, bottom right, upper right, and lastly the bottom left. Next, we will remove the heatsink. Then, using a paper towel, we will remove the old thermal compound from the CPU die. And from the heatsink. Then I'm going to use some 91% isopropyl alcohol. And remove any of the excess old thermal compound from the CPU die and from the heatsink. I'll be using MX2 as my thermal compound replacement. We'll put a pea sized dot right on the CPU die and then an even smaller dot on this die right over here. Then we'll put our heat sink back. Make sure to get this left corner slid beneath this plastic piece where your cables for your Wi-Fi go. You just wanna make sure that it slides beneath there and then the heat sink lays flat in its spot. We're gonna go ahead, center it over the CPU and lay it in place. Then we're gonna put our CPU screws back, starting with the upper left, then bottom right, then upper right, then bottom left, just how we took them off. And you want to tighten these screws until they're tight, but don't over tighten them or you could damage the CPU. Next, we'll put back our T5 screws on the left and right side of our heatsink. And then replace the rubber cover on top of our right CPU heatsink screw. We will then reroute our cables through the cable guides on the plastic piece over here on the left. Slide this guy back into his spot. Then I'm just gonna make sure that we push the corners back into place, gently from the left, then to the right, then double check the left, then the right. Next, we will reconnect our Wi-Fi and Bluetooth card.
And finally, we will reconnect the battery. We'll put our bottom cover back on and screw it back into place. Remember, these are P5 screws, not T5 screws. And there you have it. That's how to replace the CPU thermal paste on your 2012, 2013, 2014, or 2015 MacBook Pro Retina, 15 inch. If you liked the video, please leave a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave a comment and subscribe for more computer related content. See you in the next video.